The Listening Test of TOEFL Primary, Step 2. This test is brought to you by Flyer. Part 1. Listen. Number 1. Listen to the teacher. Sometimes an accident can happen when you ride a bike or a motorbike on the road. That's why you must wear your helmet to keep you safe and protect you. What did the teacher tell the students to do? The answer is B. Did you see the tick? Now you do it. Number two, listen to the teacher. In our art lesson today, we are going to learn about a famous painter. Please take your book out of your backpack and put it on your desk before we start the lesson. What did the teacher tell the students to do? Number three, listen to the teacher. Before finishing our lesson today, we are going to play a game. Are you ready? I have three cups, and under each cup is a piece of paper. There is one question on the piece of paper. You will choose the cup, read the question, and answer it. If you answer correctly, you will get a prize. Now, please raise your hand if you want to play the game. What did the teacher tell the students to do? Number four, listen to the father. Your bedroom is getting really messy, Alex. Please pick up all of your toys on the floor and put them in the toy box. You need to finish before your grandparents arrive. You only have about 15 minutes, so hurry up. What did the father tell his son to do? Number five, listen to the teacher. The photographer will be here tomorrow to take photos for the yearbook. We will take some pictures of the whole class together. Please remember to wear your school uniform with white socks and black shoes. What did the teacher ask the students to do? Number six, listen to the teacher. As you already know, we have to find some performers for the Halloween play. If you're interested in performing in the play, please fill out the form here and come for an audition this Saturday. What did the teacher tell the students to do? Number seven, listen to the teacher. For our art lesson today, we're going to use clay. Before you start, think about what you want to make and come to my table to take the amount of colored clay that you need. Please remember to cover the clay with a towel so it doesn't get dry. What did the teacher tell the students to do? Part two, listen to a conversation and answer the question. Let's do an example. 
Number eight. Listen to the conversation between the boy and the girl. Listen for the answer to this question. What made the game so great? Did you go to the basketball game on Friday? No, I couldn't make it. You missed a really good game. Oh, really? Who won? Our school did. They played really well. What was the score? The score was one hundred one to ninety eight. Oh, that's a really close game. That's what made it so great. I'll make sure to make it to the next one. What made the game so great? A. It was a really close game. B. Their school won. C. Their school team played really well. The answer is A. Did you see the tick? Now you do it. Number nine. Listen to the conversation between the boy and the girl. Listen for the answer to this question. What are they going to do next? What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Crazy Rabbit. It's the funniest movie I've ever seen. Have you seen it before? Yes, I saw that movie the first day it came out in theaters. It is a very funny movie. I laughed through the whole movie. Me too. I have it on DVD at my house. If you want to come over and watch it, sure. Let's go. What are they going to do next? Number ten. Listen to the conversation between the girl and the librarian. Listen for the answer to this question. What does the girl need to do to log on to the computer? What can I do for you today? I would like to use a computer. Do you have your library card with you? Yes, I have it. You're going to have to wait for a computer. Please put your name on this list. When there is a computer available, I will call you. Okay. How do I log on to the computer? Just type in the number on the back of your library card. Okay. Thanks for your help. What does the girl need to do to log on to the computer? Number eleven. Listen to the conversation between the boy and the doctor. Listen for the answer to this question. What does the doctor suggest the boy eat to stay healthy? Doctor, can you give me some suggestions on how to stay healthy? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that you eat the right foods. What are the best foods to eat? You should eat fresh fruits and vegetables. You should avoid fatty and greasy foods. You should also avoid food and drinks with too much sugar and caffeine. What else is important to stay healthy? You need to get plenty of exercise every day. I will do all of those things. Thank you for your advice. What does the doctor suggest the boy eat to stay healthy? Number twelve. Listen to the conversation between the girl and her father. Listen for the answer to this question. What does the girl decide to drink? I am really thirsty. Can we go and get something to drink, Dad? Do you know what you want to get? I want some soda. Soda isn't the best thing to drink when you're thirsty. It isn't good for you. What should I drink then? You should drink water. It's a lot better for you than soda. That sounds good. I'll drink water. What does the girl decide to drink? Number thirteen. Listen to the conversation between the boy and his father. Listen for the answer to this question. What did the boy have for lunch? Are you feeling okay, Jack? No, I have a stomach ache, Dad. What have you been eating? I had a chicken sandwich and salad for lunch. Then I went to the cafe with my friend and had a strawberry milkshake. Maybe the food had something wrong with it. We should go to the doctor. What did the boy have for lunch? Number fourteen. Listen to the conversation between the boy and the toy shop worker. Listen for the answer to this question. What will the boy do next? Hello. How can I help you? I'm looking for a birthday present for my baby sister. 
Is there anything in particular you want to get her? And how old is your baby sister? She's four years old. I'm not sure what I'm going to get her. Can you give me some ideas? Well, little girls seem to love Barbie dolls. Why don't you buy her one of those? That sounds perfect. I will take a look and buy her one. Thanks. What will the boy do next? Part three. Listen to the phone message and answer the question. Let's do an example. Number fifteen. Hi, Peter. This is your grandpa calling. I heard from your father that you won the gold cup in the chess competition at your school. I am so proud of you. I bought a special present and will come to give it to you tomorrow. See you then. What did Peter win? A. The gold cup in the school's chess competition. B. The gold cup in the school's math competition. Or C. The gold medal in the school's track meet. The answer is A. Did you see the tick? Now you do it. Number sixteen. Listen to the phone message. Hello, Joey. This is your soccer coach calling. I want to tell you that tomorrow's practice will be in the stadium instead of the gym as usual. We are going to play a match there. Where is Joey going to have soccer practice tomorrow? Number seventeen. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Lisa. This is Rosie. I just finished reading a book called Dark. How you do it? Number sixteen. Listen to the phone message. Hello, Joey. This is your soccer coach calling. I want to tell you that tomorrow's practice will be in the stadium instead of the gym as usual. We are going to play a match there. Where is Joey going to have soccer practice tomorrow? Number seventeen. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Lisa. This is Rosie. I just finished reading a book called Dark. It's a book about a boy and his great adventure into a mysterious world. Do you want to read it? Please call me back if you want to. So I can bring it to school tomorrow to give to you. Why did Rosie call? Number eighteen. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Carol. It's Lucy. Do you want to go to the park and play badminton this afternoon? My dad just bought me a blue and yellow badminton racket that I really want to try out. Call me back if you can join me after school today. What did Lucy's dad just buy for her? Number nineteen. Listen to the phone message. Hey Jim, it's Daisy. Thank you for taking me with you to the movie theater last night. The movie was so much fun, and I couldn't stop laughing. I just wanted to say that I had a really great time, and I think we should hang out again soon. Maybe we can go to the amusement park or see a play. See you later. Where did Jim and Daisy go last night? Number twenty. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Jane. It's Rachel. I started a big garden. I want to plant a lot of flowers there, but there's lots of work to do. Can you help me this weekend? I could teach you how to plant and grow flowers. It would be really fun to do it together. Why did Rachel call? Number twenty-one. Listen to the phone message. Hello, Amy. This is your teacher, Mr. Anderson. I'm calling to remind you to bring in the permission form for summer camp. Tomorrow will be the last day to submit the form. So if you want to go, you need to get your parents to sign it and give it to me tomorrow. What does Amy need to do if she wants to go to summer camp? Number twenty-two. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Lucy. It's Dad. I'm going to the store after work today to buy a ladder. 
and I remembered that you want to buy some paint for your art project. I just can't remember what color you asked me to buy. Please call me back soon. Why did Lucy's dad call? Đó, thưa mấy các em nghe lại từ câu 16 cho đến câu 22 nha. Part 3. Listen to the phone message and answer the question. Let's do an example. Number 15. Hi Peter, this is your grandpa calling. I heard from your father that you've won the gold cup in the chess competition at your school. I am so proud of you. I bought a special present and will come to give it to you tomorrow. See you then. What did Peter win? A. The gold cup in the school's chess competition. B. The gold cup in the school's math competition. Or C. The gold medal in the school's track meet. The answer is A. Did you see the tick? Now you do it. Number 16. Listen to the phone message. Hello, Joey. This is your soccer coach calling. I want to tell you that tomorrow's practice will be in the stadium instead of the gym as usual. We are going to play a match there. Where is Joey going to have soccer practice tomorrow? Number 17. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Lisa. This is Rosie. I just finished reading a book called Dark. It's a book about a boy and his great adventure into a mysterious world. Do you want to read it? Please call me back if you want to, so I can bring it to school tomorrow to give to you. Why did Rosie call? Number 18. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Carol. It's Lucy. Do you want to go to the park and play badminton this afternoon? My dad just bought me a blue and yellow badminton racket that I really want to try out. Call me back if you can join me after school today. What did Lucy's dad just buy for her? Number 19. Listen to the phone message. Hey Jim, it's Daisy. Thank you for taking me with you to the movie theater last night. The movie was so much fun and I couldn't stop laughing. I just wanted to say that I had a really great time, and I think we should hang out again soon. Maybe we can go to the amusement park or see a play. See you later. Where did Jim and Daisy go last night? Number 20. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Jane. It's Rachel. I started a big garden. I want to plant a lot of flowers there, but there's lots of work to do. Can you help me this weekend? I could teach you how to plant and grow flowers. It would be really fun to do it together. Why did Rachel call? Number 21. Listen to the phone message. Hello, Amy. This is your teacher, Mr. Anderson. I'm calling to remind you to bring in the permission form for summer camp. Tomorrow will be the last day to submit the form, so if you want to go, you need to get your parents to sign it and give it to me tomorrow. What does Amy need to do if she wants to go to summer camp? Number 22. Listen to the phone message. Hi Lucy, it's Dad. I'm going to the store after work today to buy a ladder, and I remembered that you want to buy some paint for your art project. I just can't remember what color you asked me to buy. Please call me back soon. Why did Lucy's dad call? Listen to the story. Annie's favorite color is purple. She has a purple bike a purple school bag, and a purple hat. But her bedroom is yellow. She wanted to paint it purple. She asked her mother, Mom, 
Can I paint my bedroom purple? That's a dark color, Annie, said her mom. Do you want to paint your bedroom a different color? How about pink? That's nicer, I think. But I only like purple. I'm sure it will look great, Mom, Annie answered. Okay, we can go to the supermarket this afternoon, and we can fetch some purple paint and buy brushes too, her mother said. They took the bus to the supermarket and got everything they needed. The next day, Annie asked her parents to help her paint her bedroom after they had lunch. They put on old clothes and carried Annie's bed, dresser, and bookshelf to another room and covered the floor with some old newspapers. It took two hours for them to paint the room, and when they finished, it was three o'clock in the afternoon. Annie was very happy when they finished. It looks amazing. It's even more beautiful than I imagined, Annie said to her parents. Now I want a purple bed. Now answer the questions. Number 23. What is the story about? Number 24. What color did Annie's mom suggest she paint her bedroom? Number 25. What did they use to cover the floor before painting? Number 26. How long did it take Annie and her parents to paint her room? Em bấm vào câu trả lời đi nha Rồi để thầy chuyển sang câu khác nè Phát phai nè Listen to the story Last summer Dave and his parents Decided to go on a holiday trip To the mountains They wanted to go hiking there So they brought shoes Maps And all the other things they would need In three big backpacks then, they went to the station to take a train. Dave was very excited when their train arrived in the mountain village. It was a very beautiful place, and the weather was nice. They stayed at a hotel for the first night and went to bed early. The next morning, Dave woke up, jumped out of bed, and ran to the window. He saw the beautiful view outside and couldn't wait to climb up to the top of the mountain. After breakfast, Dave and his parents put on their backpacks and started hiking up the mountain. It took them four hours to get to the top, and from there they could see the fields, the river, and the green grass below. This is the most wonderful view I've ever seen, Dave told his parents. Now, answer the questions. Number 27. What did Dave and his parents decide to do on their holiday trip? Number 28. What did they do on the first night? Number 29. 
How long did it take Dave and his family to get to the top of the mountain? Number 30. What did they see when they were at the top of the mountain? Listen to the teacher give a science lesson. A tornado is a spinning cloud of air, often called a funnel cloud, that stretches from the sky to the ground. Tornadoes come in different shapes and sizes, but they are always wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. Most tornadoes last less than 10 minutes and travel 5 to 10 kilometers before disappearing. Some really big tornadoes can last several hours and cross distances of over 150 kilometers. Tornadoes can happen anywhere, but most of the world's tornadoes occur in the middle of the United States. This area is called Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley runs from Texas to North Dakota. This area can see more than 200 tornadoes each year. Tornadoes are very dangerous because they are a combination of wind and power. They can pick up things from the ground and throw them around. Now, answer the questions. Number 31. What is not true about tornadoes? Number 32. How long do most tornadoes last? Em có biết tôi đây đâu nó gì không ạ? Tôi đây đâu có nghĩa là lốc xoáy đấy nhá. Có cái hình bên đây này. Number 33. What is special about Tornado Alley? Listen to the guide talk in the aquarium. Most of the Earth's surface, more than 70%, is covered by oceans. Oceans are areas of salty water. There are five major oceans. From biggest to smallest, they are the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Antarctic, sometimes called the Southern, and the Arctic Oceans. Oceans are deep and wide. On average, an ocean is a little over two miles deep. There are about one million species of animals that live in the ocean. Some of the smallest animals on Earth can be found in the ocean. Animals like Zooplankton are so small you can see them only with a microscope. Big fish swim through these waters too, such as great white sharks, manta rays, and ocean sunfish. The largest animal ever to live on Earth is an ocean mammal called the blue whale. It's as long as two school buses. The words ocean and sea are often used to mean the same thing. A sea, however, is a small area of an ocean, usually with land on several sides. Now, answer the questions. Number 34. What is true about the oceans?
có chút trục trặc cho nên thêm ơi các em nghe lại part 7 nha ai mà nghe qua rồi thì các em có thể tươi nha Listen to the guide talk in the aquarium Most of the earth's surface more than 70% is covered by oceans Oceans are areas of salty water There are five major oceans From biggest to smallest They are the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Antarctic, sometimes called the Southern, and the Arctic Oceans. Oceans are deep and wide. On average, an ocean is a little over two miles deep. There are about one million species of animals that live in the ocean. Some of the smallest animals on Earth can be found in the ocean. Animals like zooplankton are so small you can see them only with a microscope. Big fish swim through these waters too, such as great white sharks, manta rays, and ocean sunfish. The largest animal ever to live on earth is an ocean mammal called the blue whale it's as long as two school buses the words ocean and sea are often used to mean the same thing a sea however is a small area of an ocean usually with land on several sides Now, answer the questions. Number 34. What is true about the oceans? Number 35. What is the largest animal on Earth? Number 36. How is the sea different from the ocean? Thế mời các em sang uh, part it. Listen to the teacher in science class. A rainbow isn't really a thing. It doesn't exist in a particular place. Rainbows usually appear after it rains or after a thunderstorm. The sun must be behind you and the clouds cleared away from the sky for a rainbow to appear. Rainbows happen when sunlight shines through water droplets. Light enters a water droplet and bends when it goes from air into dense water. The light reflects off the inside of the droplet, separating it into colors. When it exits the droplet, it makes a rainbow. A rainbow shows different colors in arcs, which are curved. Rainbows come in different sizes. Some can be very big. A full rainbow is actually a complete circle. But from the ground, we can only see part of it. From an airplane, in the right conditions, one can see an entire circular rainbow. Now, answer the questions. Number 37. When do rainbows usually appear? Number 38. What happens when the light reflects off the inside of a droplet? Number 39. What is the shape of a full rainbow?
Rồi bây giờ thêm cái này em sang phần đọc nè Phần này là 36 điểm các em nhé Làm trong vòng 30 phút Giờ thêm cái này em sang phần đọc Phần này thì Các em có thể dừng video lại để làm nhé Câu 1 là câu ví dụ Từ câu 2 trở đi là các em làm
bài này là có hai phân ghép nhé dài nó dài lắm kim là, là thứ này nó rất là dài cho nên là kém phải đọc cả hai phân nhé cái phần này rất là dài đây đó nếu không phải là thứ mà là cái, cái đoạn văn rất là dài một câu chuyện kém đọc đọc bên này rồi nhìn sang bên này để làm Rồi, các em có thể dừng video lại để làm nhé Bài tiếp theo Phát này này
Rồi, bye của chúng ta đến đây là kết thúc nhé thầy.